Thank you. Nice to meet you. Should we go maskless? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. So your car. Schut. That's a German yeah. last name. Yes. Um, so I'm Neil Kitchen, I'm a uh, neurosurgeon. And uh, um, how old are you? 54. And this all presented with a seizure, did it? Yes, about a month ago it started with two seizures, very violent ones. Um, so I was um, treated at the Princess Royal Hospital yeah. in Hayward's Heath yeah. <coughs> and put on Keppra, which I've been taking since then. And How much have you been taking? Well, it started with uh, 500 twice a day and then two weeks after the first violent seizures I had other two less violent seizures without passing out, which was when they increased it to 750 twice a day. Okay. And, I had, and this was um, the, on the 14th of this month, so I've been seizure-free for about 11 days with the increased dose. And today I was with them, with that team again, <coughs> uh, Dr. Critchley yes. and, and yes, 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 yes. Bukur, and they seem to have found uh, that it's not really a low-grade glioma, but probably a more aggressive type. I'm not sure if you have access to the NHS system, otherwise I have copies for you. You The MRIs. Yes, they have. Yeah, so apparently the last ones from the 20th of May seem to show that uh, it's inoperable but they want to do a biopsy on the 6th i think on the 6th of june yeah, yeah. Okay. and the we'll come back to all this in a moment but are you on any medication otherwise <coughs> for any other reason um i take um lorazepam um, Ecitalopram, um, levothyroxine, yeah. atorvastatin, yeah. and the Kepra, that's it. Okay. And you live in. Uh, in uh, sorry, um, not just lorazepam, diazepam as well, because. I'm on a withdrawal plan with my GP, so every time I reduce lorazepam, I increase a little bit. And these are for anxiety? Yeah, for historical reasons, so not, for, not no, because of the glioma, okay. no. Okay. And you live in Hayward's Heath? Yeah. I, what what I, do you do? I work for American Express in Brighton. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. The MX Stadium. Yeah, and they are, well, they have a big uh, centre there in in John Street yeah. and that's going to be tricky because my my whole department is going to be moved to the Madrid Center yeah. so I'm not sure how to handle that because uh, after the 30th of June which would be my last day for, for Amex Brighton I'm supposed to be working for the Madrid Center so but I think uh, I'm still on the NHS right yeah, 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 sure. Because that's resi residency bound, not contract bound, I think. Correct, yeah. So, okay. Um, and the agenda, so if you look at the scan here, this is, this is, shows it, this is the scan for the 20th of May. And this is the left-hand side of your brain, okay? Yeah. And this bit of the brain is the, is the bit of the brain which um, controls movement down the right-hand side. So Mr. Critchley is absolutely correct that if, if they did a, a big operation to try and remove that, it will 
almost certainly give you a paralysis down the right hand side. So it's not a good idea. So the risk is more than 50-50, let's say. If they were wanting to take the whole thing out, yeah. And there's no point in doing a big operation unless you do take virtually all of it out. So there are no cases where that has been attempted? Or there has, but then the patients have had paralysis. Right. Um, the, you can see here, oh, this is on the M. This, this scan was the one where you were given the dye. Yeah. And there is a faint bit of enhancement, mm. Mm. but nothing major. But the worry is someone of your age, it's more, you know, it's more likely to be a higher grade than lower grade. Yeah, that's what so, I said. So I... You, you agree with... Um, I, if I were you as a first step at any rate, I would, get, I would go for a biopsy. I wouldn't do nothing because, you know, it's, it's potentially a growing tumour. Yeah. And I think biopsy is a very, very good first step. And as soon as possible, not yeah. leaving the treatment to when I am living in Madrid. No, no, get on with it. Why delay it? Well, I'm not, I mean, because it, it happens to be just now, the, oh, the, the, no, the relocation, things, you know? Yeah, these things happen the most awful time, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. So I'm not sure, they will have to figure out whether Amex Brighton or Amex Madrid is responsible for me then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to compare that, so, so that's, that's the growth there, okay? You don't see it on this other side. Mm. I'm just going to see, because you did have an earlier scan. Let me just see if you can pull that up. Yeah, here we are. This is from a month previously, okay? Yeah. I even have access to an MRI from 2016, which I could send you the link for. Presumably there's nothing on that scan. Exactly. Yeah, yeah okay. Exactly. So, so, there doesn't appear to be any significant difference between these two scans. It's quite difficult to tell. Sometimes it's... Depends on exactly where the slices are. Maybe this thing at the bottom is just slightly bigger. But, you know, there is... With a, with a scan like this, with someone who's had a new seizure, you need to find out what it is. Because all the, all the MRI scans in the world, spectroscopy, whatever you want to do, it's not going to tell you for sure. I yeah. think all you need to know for sure is what it is. But I think I would advise having a biopsy. ASAP. ASAP, and I think the 6th of June by, by Giles and the team is a good idea. I know Giles very well. Okay. So that's the, the one and only standard thing to do, yeah? Well, there's no you know, things you can do. In order, in order to determine the... The, the combination of the treatment, radiology and chemo and... Exactly, exactly, exactly. Nowadays, see in the old days, a biopsy used to say benign and malignant, or then it was grades one to four, but now we have a whole bunch of genetic tests that get done on the samples. And, you know, it makes it much more nuanced and, and, and the treatment is much more sort of individualised. So we need to know what it is. And once, once we do, um, what do you think about that um, gamma knife treatment I've heard of? Yeah, so I do gamma knife here, I, I run the gamma knife unit here, and we don't, it's not generally used for gliomas. Why? Because it's kind of, the, a glioma, whether it's a benign, you know, it's a low grade or a high grade, it's not just what you see on the scan. Right. There are individual cells in the brain a further way out. Okay. The trouble with gamma knife is it's very good at very discrete targets, mm. but the fall off in radiation is so steep it doesn't treat the individual cells. So you want, if you're going to give radiation, you want, a, you want a bigger field. So we don't generally use it. Um, Would depending on what this ends up being, would you consider 
doing that in my case. Gamanoi? Yeah. Uh, it's very unlikely. Very unlikely. Very, very unlikely, yeah. Brought forward up just for the reason I've said. Um, maybe if it's dogs. Yeah, so, so for example, here, this is a, what we call a flare scan. So on this scan, you can see that what I can see that the abnormalities is a bit more widespread than just this lump here. So it seems to be affecting the 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 gyrus behind. Do you see that? It's yeah. obviously it's brighter. So the more you look at these types of scans, the more you think actually it's a bit more it's a bit more than just this bit here. Yeah. So I really think a biopsy of the main bit is the thing to do. Mm. I wouldn't go in for any um, I wouldn't go nuclear and have a sort of massive operation. I think it'd be a bad idea. And it wouldn't uh, increase like the life expectancy or anything. Pro probably not. But we need to know what it is. It's very difficult to advise you when we don't know what it is. Okay. Um, let's I mean, suppose. It could be, you know, if it was a low grade, so it came back as a grade two, whatever, oligodendrogryoma. There are some tumors where we say, well, actually, you've had a seizure. It's a low grade tumor. You know what? Just take the just take the cat We don't need to do anything. It's, that is possible. It is a possible scenario. However, unlikely, right? Mm. It wouldn't surprise me. Really? So I don't think you know. This this hasn't just appeared. This has been there. For, I would say this has been there for a, for a fair amount of time. Uh, it could be that it was a low grade tumor that's become more active. You know, I think there are quite a few scenarios. So I think it, it's it, all of which are hypothetical at the moment. So knowing precisely what it is it will give you a lot of help in knowing what you want to do with your life. Exactly. Let's let's assume it's um, grade four um, GBM. I think it's called right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like that to me. It doesn't. Oh, okay. But let's say it is, yeah, okay, could be. Um, so that would be pretty much uh, not just a death sentence, but about two years at the most, right? Uh, I wouldn't say at the most, about 40% of our patients get to two years. Right. So even, even less than that. Even maybe 18 months then. Well, our median a median survival here is about 20 months. Right. There are a few outliers where it's much longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a grade three? Oh, three be years? Much longer. No, years. no, it could be much longer. Yeah. Several years, 10 years. Much more and that would be? Much more variable. The outliers are much longer out. Right. And that would be with a combination of ra radiotherapy and chemo, right? Correct, yeah. There's slight, there are different regimens depending on what grade it is and what the molecular analysis is and what the, the cell of origin is. Okay. So I think another discussion should be had after you've, you've had the biopsy. So it's in black and white from the pathologist what it is. Okay. That's definitely the right thing to do. Good, good. Thank you for your frankness and for your time. Yeah, it may not. I wait and see. Well, I'd have quite. I would, if, if 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 you did it here, I'd have quite an open mind really about what this might be. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a glioma of some sort, a brain a primary brain tumor of some sort, but couldn't be sure entirely what it is. So you would even maybe tend more to say it's probably a grade three than a four. I think that's it's quite possible. Yeah. I don't know. So let's get let's find out basically. Okay, let's do that. And I know Giles very well. He's a very good chap. So I think it's uh, Mr. Bukur who is going to. Uh, Sorry, Bukur. Yeah, I know him. Sorry, very well as well. Yeah. Because apparently, um, Giles Critchley is already operating on 
that Friday, so for some reason, uh, yeah, ta time, yeah, time, time, line wise, it's going to be on a Monday, and it's it would be Mr. Booker then, yeah, yeah apparently, in Brighton, I assume. Okay, okay, yeah, well. And if you want after the biopsy, if you want a further view on matters, then I can see you or get you to see one of our oncologists if you want a further view about what they're planning or advising you. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. I mean, we couldn't, I couldn't do it any quicker here, basically, because uh, it's the thing, Jubilee thing. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think, you know, it's a straightforward standard thing. Yeah. And so, although it's not risk free, the risks are going to be very similar between two doses. And I think it's, it's I just go ahead with what they've, they've planned. Okay, good. No, I'm, I'm quite. I'm quite pleased with the consistency of views. Well, that's 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 I think a good good outcome from getting another opinion. Sometimes when it's completely different views, and it's all thrown up into a sort of you know. Yeah. Although you do seem to be more um, optimistic, which of course is a good thing. Um, but yeah, it depends on the biopsy, right? So it's all on the it's biopsy. All on the biopsy. All, the All right. Well, thanks yeah. ever so much. Shall I give you that back? No, okay. Back yes. I know you had to get hold of them. So is it okay if I let Giles so I know I saw you and agree with what they say? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, Carl. Good luck. Yes. Thank you.